So I've got an update for you guys on the Galaxy Z Flip 5 that mainly has to do with the cover screen, but I'm also going to be talking about the release date for this device and some other design changes we could expect. Now, Samsung typically likes to release phones in August, so you can expect the Z Flip 5 and the Z Fold 5 for that matter to unveil next month in July, but then probably late August is when, you know, these phones are going to go on sale. Now, as far as the Z Flip 5 design, honestly, the display size, I don't think is going to be much different. You know, going from the Z Flip 3 to the Z Flip 4, there was like no changes whatsoever. I think very minor things, but you couldn't tell the phones apart from how they looked. Um, but the big difference that's going to happen with the Z Flip 5, and it's basically been confirmed, is that the cover screen is going to be much larger. It's basically going to take up all the space on the outside of the phone. Now, I've actually got an article pulled up here on The Verge, kind of just showing you guys a picture of what it's going to look like. And uh, I don't know if these are exactly renders or where they came from, but um, the Razer plus or the razor 2023 and the razor plus just released and basically the way those phones are designed they have the whole cover screen as a display and it looks really cool we're also going to be getting that phone in i hope this week or next week it's selling for a thousand bucks but the z flip 5 is going to have some competition uh you know especially with motorola but um, that's really the biggest change is going to be the cover screen on this. I wouldn't expect a whole lot different other than that. The price point is probably going to stay the same at around a thousand bucks. I could see Samsung trying to squeeze a little bit more money out of people. So maybe, uh, you know, 1200, maybe they kick it up a, a couple hundred bucks, but you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, just so you know, the, uh, cover screen display on the previous, uh, Z flip four and Z flip three was just 1.9 inches. So you know, uh, I would say upgrading from a Z Flip 4 or Z Flip 3 to the Z Flip 5 probably is going to be worth it just based on the fact that the cover screen is going to be so much bigger and so much better. I think it's definitely a really cool change. I'm also not going to hate on, uh, you know, Samsung uh, for the fact that they're basically the ones revolutionizing this whole foldable device space. Even though Motorola's phone is pretty sick, I would recommend you guys check it out. Um, like I said, we uh, pre-ordered it, but you know, it it's basically just adding some things on from uh, what Samsung's already been able to do. Okay, the next thing I want to do is actually uh, throw up a little gameplay that I did on the Z Flip 4 because, you know, it is an awesome phone for, you know, gaming. And we do like to mix things up on the channel. You know, we got tech and mobile gaming. And I think, you know, showcasing the Z Flip series definitely makes sense. Of course, if you want to learn more about the Z Flip 5, uh, basically any news, things like that, we'll have some great resources below in the description. You can also get in our tech newsletter where we send out one email a week as well below. For now, let's run it.
is it. The dog for Wortham. Thank you, but I am a hunter, not prey. Just... 